and then also a neutral position. We're not sorry. Get into a long position. I'm like my brain's getting fried already today, guys. All right. So we're gonna go through the neutral position, or really the longer position. We'll go through longer first, then we'll go through neutral. All right. So this is what we call a skull crusher because it looks like it's gonna. Yeah. He likes his hands super narrow. It doesn't have to be quite so narrow if you don't like. It just might be more comfortable for him. What Jim's gonna do is he's gonna keep his elbows here and he's gonna lower just by moving at the elbows. He's literally gonna lower like he's gonna touch somewhere between his forehead and the tip of his nose, okay? So notice, when we got in that position, he brings here, so now he's shortening out that tricep to be able to move. Right? Not bad. So now, the other way we can do this, we can put ourselves in a neutral position. I picked on Jim a little bit because of the small Anconius thing, because he's got a big tricep. It's really not because it's small, so you can't see it as well. So he's going to go in a very, like a, almost like right here to the edges of the knurling, okay? Now, the one thing we want to do here, just because it's going to get a little funky and it will change kind of how your wrist feels, he's actually going to go what we call suicide grip. So unwrap your thumbs. All the way, yeah, right there. So now what Jim's going to do is he's going to lower the bar like he's doing a bench press, because I know he's done those, but he's going to bring the bar to his throat, and then you're going to drive your elbows as high as you can to me, and now come straight up from there. Okay? This is what we call a JN press. Right? Up. So I want you to lower down. Lower, lower, all the way up here. Elbows up. Push. Now he's got a little bit of flexibility in his shoulder. So most people, so go down. All right? Most people are going to get to here and then be able to press from there. Okay? So we're really just trying to get in and then press out of that position. All right? Anyone you hand your part? Now, I'm just going to give Jim kettlebells so he can do this because these are fives and that way we're just not totally destroying him. He's just going to, you can grab kettlebells especially, you can just grab on the inside or you can grab them here. I'll let you pick. Oh, really? Okay. He can go through those same motions. Wow, yeah, sorry. He can go through those same motions just with the kettlebells. Okay, so that skull crusher, he can just go very close to his head, extending up, so he just stays in that length of position. And then he can do that same JM press in and pushing straight up from that position as well. All right? Any questions on those two? No, okay, stand up. You can put the kettlebells down. Now, very similar. Go ahead and sit on this side. So now, every, a lot of people have probably done these. Bench dip. So, all he's doing is putting his hands on the bench. He's sticking his feet out, shoulders are coming back. We're putting himself in a shortened position because he's got those shoulders back, so he's already in some extension. <coughs> Go ahead and just dip. And he's pushing straight up. The one thing here, try not to let that ball roll forward. Right? We try not to shove the humerus in. Sometimes you'll have this bother their shoulders, so turn your palms around. Turn your palms around on the bench. Some people find that this helps them out a little bit more to keep those shoulder blades back. Some people find it doesn't. I personally think it doesn't for me, but for some people it helps. If you need to make it easier, just tuck your knees in. All right? And you can do it from a lower, lowered position there. Okay? Same thing, you don't even necessarily need to do it on a bench. You can do the same thing on a bar. Shoulders stay back, pushing up. Now, how do we then use our body weight? Let's just say Jim's got all the tricep strength he needs. He can use the full stack. Maybe he's just trying to get some work in and he just wants to use his body weight. So what Jim's going to do is he's going to grab his hands real close together, probably about the same, so facing the bar, facing the mirror, should have specified. And he's going to walk his feet back. So he's gonna put his, he's gonna put his hand in right there, and all he's gonna do is then try to touch that bar to his nose, and he's gonna lean in and push back. Same thing we're putting in that length in position. Go again. 
and extending. He's gonna get a little bit core in there too. It's basically he's doing a plank in that position and you're good. All right? And so we're changing then all the different ways that we can position. All right? I think there's only like one actual dip stand in this place that's over there. You can do that dip. You can do it with your feet dangling. There's a dip station over there that I think down have assistance. Yeah, oh, we have the dip, oh, perfect, I forgot we had those. We have the dip bars, everything works the same. It's the same short position as on the bench, okay? We're just getting in that position there with the, the little shortened tricep. So here's what I want you to do, pick two of them. Pick two variations of those, try them out, and then we'll talk about just next week what we're going over with the hip.